Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Performance Bagger Build where we are taking my 2013 Street Glide, converting it into a Performance Bagger. Now most everything I'm doing to this bike, you can do to like any model year bagger. Last week I released a video about my Flow Motorsports floorboard, shifter, back brake pedal, and passenger pegs. And I'm 1000% happy with those. Dude, they're great, great fitment, great style, great performance. Well, the guys over at Flow also set me up with a set of their MX inspired hand levers, the front brake and the clutch. They're obviously styled around Moto, which is great for a performance bagger. And they are adjustable, so you can adjust the reach. So super easy to put on. Let's check them out. I do like what the guys over at Flow did with their packaging. Thank you. No, thank you. All right, so we've got a little package here. Got some stickers, got your little uh, sleeve inset. Probably goes right in there. Let's check these bad boys out. I have not pulled these out of the package yet and done a little pre-preview. So got your logo on there, both sides. Now let's see, so the adjustability, let's come over here. The adjustability is this little dial right here. I'll show you better on the bike what kind of adjustability they have and everything's nice billet. I love billet, I'm a sucker for billet. Um, they do have these for touring, soft tail, Dyna. So it's not just for us bagger guys. Um, I think these levers also flip, yeah, see they flip forward like that. So in case your bike falls over, hopefully it doesn't break. So you got your front brake, you got your clutch. I'm not sure which is which just yet, we'll figure it out. Let's get them on the back. But first I want to tell you guys how to save money and get perks over at Revzilla, JP Cycles, and Cycle Gear stores with their Riders Plus membership, also called RPM. You'll get free two-day shipping and free returns, 10% off all exclusive brands, 5% cash back, $15 RPM cash to new members, free Rever Pro membership. Rever is a ride planning app where you can create custom rides, discover and share routes, and a lot more. You'll also get early access to member sales and new releases, member exclusive event experiences, concierge phone line with gear and parts experts, discounts on Twisted Road bike rentals, and free access to the National Motorcycle Museum in Iowa. Now an RPM membership costs $59.99 per year, but a Rever Pro membership has value of $39.99, and you get your $15 RPM cash, which really only totals to $5. For Twisted Road bike rentals, you get 25% off or one day free, and you can redeem your RPM cash at Revzilla, JP Cycles, or any Cycle Gear store, and you can track everything on your membership page. So just click the link in the description of this video, or click at this link here and save now so these are the levers i have on the bike now they came with the bike when i bought it they're okay i, I like the width here and the machining and so on but they're both kind of bent this one's got a mark in it and the other one was scuffed up so to get these off all you do there's a pin right here on the bottom side there's a circlip just take off that circlip and bam you're done this one's already got the circlip off so i'm just going to take my finger slide this pin out of here boop and i think this one might have a spring or something in it oh I, i'm sorry i got a cable clutch so i'm gonna have to loosen up the cable adjuster to get this off of here there's a cable coming into it here and it's under pressure so i need to loosen that tension i gotta slack it out to get the lever off so what you do is you just come down here here's your clutch cable coming down in front of your engine You'll see there's an adjuster here. I'm just gonna loosen these up. I'm gonna screw this in, and that'll give me plenty of slack to get the lever off. So you can see here now, I screwed this all the way in. It was out about one inch. So now we just come up here. I already have the pin out, so I should be able to just pull this out and bam. It's really hard to do this holding a camera. Okay, so let's see if I can get this. Yeah, pull that out first so it can come out like that. And then you want to want to pull the lever kind of like straight out. Don't pull it out toward the front of the bike. Pull it out toward the side of the bike. Like that. And then just wiggle this out. Here we go. And then you see there, it uh, just pops into there. Uh, to get that out, looks like... Move this, 
here we go just pull out this nylon piece here and it comes right out of there now you guys want to make sure before you put your levers on your bike it comes with these two i believe they're stainless sleeves one's big one's small the smaller one is for your front brake the bigger one for your clutch there they are right there now note this is the one for the front brake note it has like a little shoulder right here on the end make sure that shoulder goes okay if here's here's your front brake on the bike make sure it slides in from the top with the shoulder on top there's a little groove in the lever bracket for that boom see that and then your pin will go right in there be nice and tight there we go let's drop her in the bike i want to show you guys how the cable goes into the clutch lever here so you've got this piece here on the end of the cable and that just goes in here and then this nylon piece here goes in the hole and then the little nub on the bottom of the nylon piece goes in that little indentation so let me i'll drop it in real quick and i'll show you so boom once you're done that's what it looks like you got this nylon piece in place and you got this attached to the lever okay so the lever assembly is back on the bike you can see here i've got this back in place slid in real easy because we have all that slack here's the pin just pop that down don't forget to put the clip on the bottom of both the clutch and the throttle and then you see there's a bunch of free play here because i need to tighten that back up so i'll do that and i'll come back to you so you can see here i have this adjusted back out about, about where it was before with the stock lever about one inch of thread showing but up here it's pretty tight there's no give i like there to be at least a little bit of give that way i know i'm not going to be slipping my clutch so i'm going to screw this in a little bit all right so after adjusting that a little bit you can see here now just a little bit of free play not much i don't like there to be very much let's tackle the front brake so i already took the clip off the bottom just slide this pin out of here let's grab a little screwdriver to help us out push on the bottom there we go there we go set that right there so we don't lose it i'm just loosening up the perch for the front brake just these two screws right here once these are out of here i can just lift the whole assembly away from the handlebar loosen the top screw here in the throttle housing and everything came loose so you can see here everything's pretty loose i think now i can get it out oh, there it goes okay looks like a perfect match i'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out of here a little bit grunge gets in there let's grab a grab a rag and clean that up all right should slide right on in Boom, got your pin. Dropped right in. I'll get everything tightened up and then we'll test the action of this thing and I'll show you the adjustability. So let's figure out the adjustability on this. Right now it's all the way in. So from here to the center of the tip, it's like three inches. So what you do to adjust it is, I'm just gonna push it forward then you just roll the barrel forward. I don't know if you can see that little pin starting to come out. It's got quite a bit of adjustability. Right now the pin's out eh, about 3 sixteenths of an inch. You can already see it's come out quite a bit. So now we're at almost four inches. So that for me actually feels pretty good. I mean, wow, it's like bam, like right there. Okay, now see this? That's a little bit, a little bit tighter than the uh, front brake. Let's compare the two. Front brake, yeah, see front brake's had about twice as much free play. We'll get that out of there if we need to, it's not a big deal. All right, let's take it for a test ride. So before we give these things a road test, I'm gonna fire up the bike right now and just see what kind of uh, action we get out of these as far as rattling goes. Make sure the bike's in neutral. Yep. All right. So here's a really good test. I'm stopped. You can see when I stop, my handlebars just kind of do that hardly wiggle. 
you can see here the clutch looks great it's not wiggling any more than the handlebar the front brake is actually doing the same it's if I put my hands on here look it doesn't move so that little bit of free play it's not a big deal at all I'm not even gonna worry about it nice looking bike look at this car I love that car oh so nice uh, so the first thing I noticed is the skinnier profile of these levers it's just you know because the last ones I had were really wide but I, I actually like it because it's easier to get my fingers around the front of the lever I don't have to reach so high to get around a big wide lever you know what I mean so it feels good it doesn't feel bad at all but I have the reach set perfectly for me being able to dial in the exact position you want it is nice I mean they're not they don't vibrate which is a big plus working the clutch working the front brake everything is precision I give these things five stars out of five I definitely say if you're trying to build uh, a performance bagger this type of lever is what you need if you if you got a dyna or a soft tail they're nice man having that adjustability is a big plus now these levers do only come in black if you look online you might be able to find them in red anodized uh, I really I did want the red but they quit making them in red but there's still some out there yeah good action on the front brake no problem there make sure you check your front brake and your clutch action before you fire up the bike and take off because you don't need any weirdness happening while you're on the road all right guys that does it for this episode of the performance bagger build thanks again to flow motorsports for hooking it up don't forget to go check out the jp cycles revzilla cycle gear rpm program link in the description hit it save yourself some money see you guys in the next episode